Dave Rosdahl. I'm at Thousand Lake Sports. For those of you going out for the opener this weekend in Minnesota, I'm in Coas at Thousand Lake Sports. I want to show you uh, how to double hook a minnow. You don't have to have a shiner to do this. You can use a fathead or a chub. Uh, just take a long shank jig head and go in the mouth and come out the gill. Push the collar of the jig in the mouth. I like a collar on there. And then turn and roll the tip of the hook through like that. So it's like a weedless bass worm hooked on a jig. But the minnow stays alive and it, it doesn't gather stuff in the bottom, doesn't get snagged as much. And that's, uh, plus it's back far, farther for the walleye to grab up on it. Uh, now, when you're using live bait, I love using the fireball, the short shank jig. Because with this lower part here, you could add a stinger hook, that little loop down there, that little hole. But with this, you just go in the mouth, and then carefully, just behind the head, just a little bit off to the side, like that, so you don't break the spine. And the minnow wiggles on the hook. And uh, it's simple. If you got kids in the boat, you don't have to try to double hook it. Or for the kids, just give them this. They can just hook it on with one uh, stab. But uh, stop in at Thousand Lake Sports. They got leeches. They got night crawlers. They got uh, rainbows. The rainbows are lively. You could use them on a plain hook. And don't forget to bring slip bobbers because they work really good. See you here.